Thank you. I don't believe we have a funding problem in education. I do believe that we have an allocation problem. And one of our problems is that we have a government now, a minister of education, uh, who's taken it upon herself to negotiate contracts and uh, has negotiated teachers' contracts <coughs> without providing the funding to meet the obligations of those fundings to the local school boards. And so what happens? Now you have a school board that must meet the needs of those contracts, but they don't have the money, and so they start robbing Peter to pay Paul. And now you have local school boards that are essentially forced to take money from transportation to pay salaries, to take money from special needs to pay salaries. Oof. What we have to do is restore envelope funding so that there is, in fact, appropriate funding for the designated envelopes that solves that problem. But let me go one step further. What I believe we need to do is look at our entire school system and ask ourselves this question. What are those schools intended to do? They're intended to meet the needs of students. And we need an education system that will once again focus on the student. In rural Ontario, we need a rural school strategy to ensure that schools in rural Ontario, as elsewhere, are not just looked at as schools, but as community centers. And so, whether there are enough students to keep that school open or not, that community center needs to be kept open to ensure yeah. that those are the kinds of policies that we have to restore in the province of Ontario under my leadership, I hope to have the opportunity to do that. All right, Brian.